Good afternoon, everybody. We've got some high-impact football coming your way here in just a few moments. I'm Chris Morgan, and beside me in the booth is my co-pilot, Gator Jones. Gator, tell us who's going to win. I got to go with the Rams here. This team knows how to line up and shove the ball down your throat. I'm not sure they can be stopped, but maybe the damage can be contained. Brought in at the one-yard line. And he's down at the 30. So he picks up a nice little gain on the return. Pretty easy first down to pick up. They can run just about anything right here. Drops back. And it's incomplete. He had his hands on it, but the defender made sure he let go. Oh, I thought he had that. Bet he did, too. Gets it away. And Bruce makes the catch. See, Chris, you got to get out there and reach for the stars. You know, I cannot wait until you're done guest hosting Talent Search USA. The blitz is on, and he's taken down by Randall. Great job by the defense there. He might as well have had turnstiles in front of him instead of blockers. Ball takes the handoff. He gets pasted while trying to pull off a move. Maybe a few inches, and that's it. Boy, they stuffed him like a Thanksgiving turkey on that one, Chris. They put a man in motion. Here comes the blitz. Friendly, incomplete. Strong effort by the defensive back to get a hand on it. Fourth down. 17 yards Looks like the punter's a marked man. He gets it away. He gathers it in. And they bring him down. And now a message from the hygiene council. Beware of cooties. Cooties does not go away when you enter fifth grade. Water fountains and toilet seats do not change their molecular structure just because you turn 12. And remember, guys, women are just big girls. And Duncan makes the stop, so they lose a yard. That's the worst, taking a pounding for nothing. Delivers it left, and Robinson makes the grab. Finds running room. He's to the 10, the 5... And you can put it on the board. Touchdown. And the Seahawks draw first blood with that score. Yeah, scoring on the opening drive tells the other team you came to play and other cliches like that. And it's good. Seattle lines up to kick it away. Fielded at the six. Heads up field. With the stiff arm, brought down at the 32. Decent return there. Offense with two tight ends. Last drive resulted in a punt. Hopefully they can do something a little more exciting this time. Knocked down. Well, I probably would have had that one for a pick, but you know. Ten yards to go. Second and ten. And he drops back. And he stretches out to haul it in. That's going to leave a mark. Nice extension there by the receiver to go get that one. Defense with three down linemen. Flips it. They'll bring him down in the backfield for a loss. They'll punt the ball away here. It's up. He takes it. And Gordon brings him down. Robinson lines up wide right. Alexander gets the ball. And he's brought down hard at the 48-yard line. Even if you don't get much with that run, it'll slow the pass rush down a bit. It's a blitz. And Robinson snags it. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Seattle. And the Seahawks put up another 6. He caught the ball. The defenders couldn't catch him. And there's the result. Great run after the catch.
and they'll try to add on the extra point. It's good. And here we go again. Gathers it at the six. And springs with the tackle. First and ten. They had to boot the ball away last time, but the first play of a drive is like a new beginning, Chris. And Bruce snares it. Way to find the open area in the defense. Nice completion. Out of the shotgun. Warner moves left, throws over the middle, and that's incomplete. And it looked like the receiver went down before the ball even arrived. Well, maybe the defender thinks he's in an alternate universe where everything happens two seconds earlier. How about a one in a million chance? Oh, what are the chances of that being true, Gator? Wait, what? So they just can't get it going on this drive. They've got another down, and we'll see if they decide to use it. One yard to go. Fourth and a yard. And Springs makes the tackle. Well, they can't convert on fourth down, so they'll have to hand the ball over. Maybe if they had a fifth down, they would have had a chance. Alexander, right side. And Williams makes the stop. Game of three. Any positive running yards to the inside have to boost your confidence a little. He's back to pass. And Robinson reels it in. Offense with the extra beef up front. He's dropping down. And Williams has him well defended. He's lucky that one was intercepted. One yard to go. They blow off the field goal and they're trying to get a first down. Back to pass. And Mealy falls it in. Seattle is able to pick up the first. Woo, they did it. That's why this game isn't for the faint-hearted. Leads by 14. Alexander running right, and Duncan brings him down. So he picks up a couple. Every little bit helps. They just have to keep at it with the running game. In trouble, and Robinson makes the reception. Seattle picks up the first to continue the drive. And uh, I have him here at over 100 yards on the day, Chris. Here comes the blitz. Scrambles. Robinson has the touchdown. Oh, great catch. That receiver's got kung fu grip like some sort of military-inspired action figure. And it's through the uprights. And there she goes. Hauled in at the two-yard line. Heads up field. And Springs with the tackle. So the offense is set to take the field. Medium gainers are nice. Big gainers are what you shoot for out there. He's probably a little disappointed with himself. Dumps it off the left. Catch is made. Now that was one heck of a hit. Second down and three. Blitz coming. Gets it away. And it's swatted away. May not be as flashy as an interception, but that was a nice play. That guy is really starting to warm up. They put a man in motion. Unloads. And it falls incomplete. That'll bring up a fourth down. Decision time here. Great D so far. Boy, this, this offense has a tough road ahead of them. He gets it off. He hauls it in. Dukes. Taken down at the 48-yard line. Not a bad effort by the return team. Yeah, good effort by the special teams. He fades back. Swatted away. Nice play by the defender. No need to intercept it, just knock it down. The defense is stacking up against the run. Pitches it, takes it around the end. And Duncan makes the tackle. 
He was able to turn the corner and pick up a decent gain on that play. Third and four. It's a blitz. Deflected, incomplete. So the defense keeps them from picking up the first, and now they've got a decision to make. Oh, that's not going to do the offense any good. He gets it away. Fielded. And he's down at the 20-yard line. And the offense will begin their series. Not much there on the run back, but at least he got something. Drops back. He's got pressure. And Randall takes him down hard. Boy, that is exactly why I could never play quarterback, Gator. Oh, I thought it was because you're undersized and slow. Yeah, well, that's part of it, too. Falk takes the handoff. Running left. And they make the stop. That's a game of six. He did a nice job of following his blockers and then just let his speed take over after that. And that's the end of the first quarter. They line up with three wide receivers. They're coming after him. Tipped, and it's incomplete. Hey, Chris, what was the most exciting uh, football game you ever watched? Oh, uh, when I was five years old, I saw a college game. It went into uh, seven overtimes, and one team won 3 nothing. Wow, by the time you were done, you must have been eight. It's up. He takes it. And the ball is loose. And the kicking team has it. With room to roam. The 10, the 5, score it! Look at that, Chris. It's ironic. Our mothers taught us never pick up anything dirty off the ground. Well, I guess the 5-second rule works in football as well. And he drills it home. And it's up. Taken at the one-yard line. And he's knocked to the turf. The defense is loaded up against the run. Here they come. And that's incomplete. Pride loose by the defense. Nice job Second by the down. defense to separate him from the ball. Ten yards to go. Second and ten. He's dropping back. Toss to the middle, and he hauls it in with one hand. Guess he doesn't even need that other hand, Gator. You really got to take your hat off to a great hit like that, Chris. Just like that player just did. He's back to pass. Not much time. Deflected, and it falls incomplete. No gain on the play. Fourth down. Five yards. They line up to punt. It off. Guess he lost it in the sun. And he's out of bounds. So the offense comes on. Oh, well, he can't be happy with himself. That run back was a bit embarrassing. The pitch takes it outside. And he's taken down at the 40. First down. See, now you see, when aliens visit the Earth and observe the intricacies of our culture, even they will recognize the importance of a good running game. Yeah, assuming they have legs. Come on, Chris, all aliens have legs. You're right. How could I be so stupid? He's to the 10. And he's in. Touchdown. And the Rams have done it again. That's right. That's right. He knew what to do with that ball after he caught it. Take it to the house. To the house. And they'll try to add on the extra point. And it's through the upright. Wilkins will kick this one away. He gathers it in. Heads up field. And he's down at the 40. And he's got to be happy with that return. He used the wedge darn near perfectly to set them up in pretty good field position. Pitch out. And he's going to 
lose yards on this one. You know what, Chris? They should come up with a new way to score. Maybe something worth nine points. That's funny you say that, Gator, because I always thought that if you run it back from end zone to end zone, you should get nine points. Oh, boy, you should get 12 points for that. Yeah, because you're in both end zones. Exactly. And it's incomplete. He had all the time in the world, and he only came up with that. Strong effort by the defensive back to get a hand on it. The defense comes out with five DBs. Man in motion. As all day, delivers, tipped, and that's incomplete. We'll probably see the punting team here, Chris. Looks like they'll punt it away. He gets it away. He hauls it in. Heads up field. Loose football, and the receiving team has it. And Alexander brings him down. Well, I hate to criticize, but hang on to the ball, fool. Pitches it, right side. And he fools no one but himself there. The defense bottled him up on that carry. Uh, Chris, maybe you should have tried running over someone instead of doing all that fancy footwork. And drops back. Deflected, incomplete. No gain on the play. Third down. Nine yards to go. Three receivers in. It's a blitz. And Holt snares it. So they don't pick up the first. Well, let's see what they've got up their sleeve. They line up to kick this one away. It's up. Hauled in at the 20-yard line. Heads up field. Shake and bake. And he's forced out at the 38-yard line. And the offense will trot onto the field to start this drive. I'm sure he's a little frustrated that he didn't break it for bigger yardage, Chris. Alexander, left side. A full ball effort by Archuleta. So he picks up a small gain on the play. Robinson lines up wide left. Flips it, breaks it to the outside. And Duncan makes the stop. Nice little pickup on that play. The offensive line won the battle this time. That was a nice looking run. Play action. Blitz coming. The pitch. You know what I found out today, Chris? What's that? You're supposed to bring books back to the library. You didn't know that? Nope. No one ever told me. He gets it off. Fielded. Jukes. And Mealy with the tackle. So the offense will take over. Boy, this guy's a little banged up, Gator. Well, you know what, Chris? This is football. I mean, you're going to get a little banged up. Well, you don't see that kind of thing happening out on a golf course. Yeah, you would if I was out there. Four. <laughs> Try putting now, man. And he's brought down at the 47. Pickup of a couple. Not going to make the highlight film, but it'll remind the defense about the running game. He's got to hurry. And he makes the one-handed grab. And that'll bring up third down. He must have told everybody he'd beat him single-handed. Goal line offense. Three tight ends in. Pitch out. Takes it inside. And they finally managed to bring him down. So, Gator, when we played in the British League, it wouldn't be first and ten, right? Because it was in meters. No, no, sir. It was first and 8.8. Yeah. Yeah, it always felt like you were doing... Less work. A lot of decimals in your stats. Oh, huh? yeah. Oh, yeah. 6.2 tackles. But wouldn't you just still get a whole tackle? One year I had pie tackles. And they're knocking on the door now. I don't think they're going to bother knocking on the door. They're going to destroy it. Oh, you've been making the therapy sessions, Gator. And down he goes. Dropped by Randall. You got to protect the quarterback better than that. You got that right, Chris. The quarterback is the crown jewel of the offense. Yes, yeah, so the offense is the tiara of the team. And the team is the evening dress of the organization. Now nah, you know we're done. Coming up at halftime, the Million Dollar Buy Sports Challenge, where one lucky participant gets a shot at a million dollars if they can kick a football in a hoop from three-point range. And that's incomplete. He's lucky that one was intercepted. Wilkins with the field goal attempt. It's up. And it's good. St. Louis puts three points on the board. Excellent hold and kick. So in sync. And we're ready for the kickoff. 
He hauls it in. Heads up field. Picks a path. And Duncan makes the tackle. So a decent gain on the run back. Defense in the 3-4. Alexander running right. Oh, what a shot by Archuleta. Whoa, he got hit hard, Gator. I don't know if he knows where he is. Yeah, that guy better call up Ferdinand Magellan. I think he's dead, Gator. To his right. Good protection. Gets it away, and it's incomplete. He was open, but he got knocked down before he could pull it in. Robinson, split left. Ingram in motion. And he drops back. And did you see that, Gator? The ball wasn't even there yet. Yeah, well, maybe the defender felt he should do something, so he... he... Broke the rules. Well, we don't have referees. Oh, yeah, that's right. He gets it away. He gathers it in. Shake and bake. And he heads out of bounds to kill the clock. And we'll see what this offense can do. A very respectable pickup. Well done. First play of the drive. Holt goes in motion. Falk, right side. And they make the stop. Well, I guess it could have been uglier than that, so a short game isn't bad. Two tight ends in. Flips it. Cut to the outside. Guard loose. And the offense retains possession. St. Louis takes a timeout. Third and two. He's back to pass. Is made. Called down at the 28 yard line. St. Louis will take a timeout. Warner from the shotgun. Here they come. Under pressure. Reels it in. And he's down at the six yard line. And that'll be a first down. Nice job by the quarterback and the receiver to make sure they got enough for the first down. Rolls right to the end zone, and the defender gets a hand on it. The happiest flash is an interception, but that was a nice play. Five yards to go. Short field goal attempt coming up here. Boots it. And Wilkins knocks it home. St. Louis tacks on the field goal. You could tell it was going to make it the minute it left his foot. And here we go again. He takes it. With the stiff arm, and Williams makes the stop. And they don't have much time left. Delivers, and it falls incomplete. No gain on the play. Second down. Ten yards to go. They line up with three wide receivers. Feeling the heat, unloads, and it's caught way downfield. And that's it for the first half. And the second half is underway. Fielded. Looking for a seam. Brings him down. And the offense is set to take the field. Boy, this guy looks a little shaken. Yeah, rattled and rolled, too, if you ask me. Well, you are the king, Gator. Drops back. And it's picked off by Williams. And he's down at the 34-yard line. He was just in the right place at the right time on that pick. Rolling right. Throws to his right. The pass is complete. Offense with two tight ends. Falk gets the ball. Left side, and he's down at the 28-yard line. Gain of a yard. Even the best runner probably couldn't make much of that. Pitches it. Running right. Touchdown, St. Louis. And the Rams lead by five. And just like that, they give away the lead. I am furious, Chris. I am going down there and giving them a piece of my mind right now. Whoa, Gator, Gator, you don't want to go down there. You don't want to get tased again. Extra point attempt coming. Here 
It's good. And there she goes. Brought in at the two-yard line. Follows his blockers, and they bring him down. He was just a step or two away from breaking that return into something special, Chris. Alexander lines up in the backfield. Vanessa's one tipped, and it's incomplete. No gain on the play. Second down. Look at that guy. He is heating up. Alexander takes the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Boy, he's just not having the kind of game you'd expect from him, Gator. Well, he's probably busy thinking about uh, the surprise birthday party his friends are going to throw him next week. Gator, for the millionth time, we are not having a surprise birthday party for you. Oh, I suppose that performance review you scheduled for Wednesday night is actually a performance review. Fires. And Robinson makes the catch. What's on the moves, but to no avail. So they can't pick up the first. Let's see if they're going to gamble here on fourth down. Looks like they'll punt it away. It's up. Gathers it at the 19-yard line. Stiff arm. And Alexander with the tackle. He didn't get much on that return. Yeah, give the coverage team credit on that play. They did a great job getting to the returner before he got a chance to head up field. The pitch. Takes it outside. Tries to get fancy and gets nailed. Gain of three. You know, that doesn't look flashy, but you have to do it from time to time just to keep the defense honest. Falk, right side. They get him in the backfield. That was a nice hit. Well, that is just the most satisfying feeling in football, Chris. Yeah, unless you're the one getting tackled. Yeah, but there's a respect there, Chris. There's respect. He fades back. He's got pressure. And that's incomplete. The big hit knocked it loose. Oh, it's a no-brainer to punt it away here. They line up to punt. He gets it off. Taken at the 46. And Gordon makes the tackle. And we'll see what this offense can do. I don't think that was the run back he wanted, Chris. He has to find his wedge so he can give his offense better field position. Robinson in motion. Morris running right. And a punishing hit by Archuleta. Gain of a few. Even the best runner probably couldn't make much of that. Second down and seven. Alexander right side. And he's knocked to the turf. St. Louis leads by six. They put a man in motion. Here comes the blitz. And Robinson calls it in. Seattle has the first down. First down. Ten first and ten. Alexander running left. And he's down at the 20-yard line. And the Seahawks find themselves in the red zone. That's just great vision. He was able to see the entire field, and he followed his blockers. Drops back. Deflected. Incomplete. No gain on the play. Third down. Robinson lines up left side. The pass. And Mealy brings it down. And he's tackled at the nine-yard line. The Hawks keep the chains moving. Now, it's got to give you a lot of confidence when you can move the chains on third down. He's back to pass. In trouble. And it's snagged by Archuleta. And this scoring opportunity is history. And he's down at the three-yard line. Oh, I'll bet the QB wishes he could have that one back. Falk, left side. Dances and gets drilled. Game of four. And with that, he has over 100 yards rushing for the game, Chris. Second and six. Bruce goes in motion. Pitch out. Running right. Puts on the moves, but to no avail. Gain of three. Every little bit helps. They just have to keep at it with the running game. It's a blitz. Not much time. And he reels it in. And he's pushed out at the 17. Nice heads-up play to make the catch and grab the first down. 
It's an all-out blitz. And Holt snags it. And he stopped at the 23. That's a pickup of seven. That was just a nice read and a good throw by the quarterback. And he drops back. And Bruce reels it in. Great effort on the pass thrown wide. He made a great read, found the open receiver, and then delivered a strike. bring him down. Wow, that's a solid hit there, Gator. Oh, he treated him like a piece of meat out there. Yeah, now that guy is nice and tenderized. Blitz coming. He's got to hurry. Batted down. Well, I probably would have had that one for a pick, but you know. Third down. 15 yards to go. Man in motion. Warner drops back. And he's sacked the 15-yard line. That's what I call a return to sender. Address unknown. He gets it away. Hauled in at the 45-yard line. And he's down at the 32. So the offense comes on. Well, he has to be a bit disappointed with that one, though. They put a man in motion. Dropping back. Complete. Game five. Five yards to go. Second down. Five yards to go. Moving to his left. Unloads. And a diving catch. Game five. You gotta want something bad to stretch out and get it like that, Chris. Third and less than a foot to go. Flips it. Takes it around the end. And they make the stop. Seattle gets a new set of downs. Took all three downs, but they got the first. Dumps it over the middle. Tipped, and it falls incomplete. No gain on the play. Second down. Ten yards to go. Do you smell something burning, Gator? I do. It's that guy right there. Alexander runs it inside, and he's down at the 16-yard line. Good burst there for some positive yardage. Solid game there. Nice job of running the ball. That's the end of the third quarter. Robinson lines up on the left. Not much time, and it's incomplete. He had it, but the defense knocked it out. Thought he had it. Mm, nice timing on the hit. They line up for the field goal attempt. On its way. It's good. And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. And the kicker comes through in the clutch. Those little one bars can uh, surprise you every now and again, Chris. All that football ability concentrated into one face mask bar. Fielded. Heads up field. And Springs makes the stop. So the offense will start this drive at the 32. That return will set the offense up in decent shape. Short pass left. Makes the grab. Pick up of eight. Wham, bam, slam it inside some jam. Whatever the heck that means. Ball in the backfield. Back to pass. Looking patiently. Pass over the middle. And Holt makes the reception. That was just a perfect pass. And that gives him over 100 yards receiving. I'm just saying. The defense with a four-man front. He fades back with the one-handed catch. And you can't throw much better than that. Second down. Second and a hair. Back to pass. Delivers. Deflected. And Springs has good coverage on that one. Hey, Chris, let me ask you a question, buddy. If you could be any football pad, what would you be? What are you, practicing for the dating game? Ball, right side. And Springs brings him down. And so they're short of a first down. Will they go for it? He needed to put his best foot forward on that play. Or any foot. Gets it away. 
And the kick is good. Jeff Wilkins with the huge kick. Hope you were paying attention, kids. That's how you do it right there. And it's up. Gathers it at the one-yard line. Heads up field. Taken down at the 28-yard line. And so they'll begin at the 28-yard line. First and ten. They need to make something happen on this drive, Chris. He's dropping back. Throws over the middle. And that's incomplete. They let him touch it, but they didn't let him catch it. It's a little tougher to catch it with someone giving you a smack. Drops back, in trouble, and Mealy makes the catch. Okay, what was your uh, what was like your first football memory? Oh, I was about eight years old. I was a placeholder. Kicker completely missed the ball, kicked me right in the head. Wow. Mm -hmm. but, uh, that's a lot of huh? Oh, yeah, take a look. And Mealy snags it. They're starting to put a drive together. Offense with two tight ends. Alexander running right and he'll lose yards on the carry. That's a loss of two. A runner with his talent should be having much more success, Gator. Well, Chris, you and I are living proof that talent doesn't always equal success. Think for yourself, Gator. I'm as talented as I am successful. Oh, wait, no, I, now I see it. And Jackson brings it down. Seattle keeps the chains moving. Grabs like that give a quarterback confidence in a receiver. Look for more throws to go his way. He's back to pass, and Robinson snares it. That's a pickup of seven. Seventh play of the drive. Pass tipped, batted away. Nice play by the defender. No need to intercept it, just knock it down. Robinson, wide left. He fades back. Incomplete. And he's brought down short of the first. Let's see what they do here. It's hard to get a decent pass off when you're getting pounded during the throw. Gathers it in. Still on his feet. And he's knocked to the turf. Good job by the return team there. Falk breaks it to the outside. And springs with the tackle. And that'll bring up second down. The defense did a nice job stringing out that play. He just had nowhere to go. Spinning, and he's down at the 34-yard line. I think the quarterback forgot what color jersey he was wearing, Chris. Good field position. Let's see what they can do with it. Alexander cut to the outside, brought down behind the line. Loss of three. That's just good penetration by this defense. Robinson lines up wide left. Alexander running left. And he's taken down at the 33. Good gain on the play. He just needed one more block to spring for a big gainer. Play action. Pitches it right side. Knocks it loose. And the Seahawks come up with it. And he's down at the 30. Maybe that's a sign of better things to come for them in this game. Kick is up. And the Seahawks put three on the board. Wow, that was a big kick. You got to take the points where you can get them, Chris. And those were three big points. Yep, it never hurts to have a kicker who can come through in the clutch. He takes it. Stiff arm. And at last, he goes down. The defense wins that battle, and now they'll take over on downs. Nice stand by the defense. That should get them pumped up. Got pressure. And it falls incomplete. And the Rams come away with a field goal. Oh, Chris, that was pretty. It was so pretty. Did you see how pretty that? Oh, oh pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Here comes the blitz. The pass. And that's incomplete. St. Louis comes away with the field goal. That was an important field goal, Gator. Sure was, Chris. Uh, you think you could have kicked that? Oof. No way. That's what I thought. What, you think you could? Oh, God, no. no I just want to make sure you could. And the Rams put three on the board. I think they should punt here. Punt formation. He gets 
it off. Brought in at the 33. And they make the stop. And the Seahawks come away with the field goal. Now that is putting some foot behind it. I'll tell you what, Chris, with a leg like this, this guy could kick the proverbial cow out of the hen house. Why would a cow be in a hen house? Well, he wouldn't if this guy was around. And he's brought down at midfield. And the Seahawks put three on the board. When you see a clutch kick like that, it is clear why they call it football. Chris, it's not the foot so much as it is the snap of the waist. Swatted away. And the Seahawks come away with the field goal. His agent is probably calling to renegotiate his contract as we speak. What's coming? And Ingram reels it in. And he's down at the 38-yard line. And the Seahawks put three on the board. Well, that kind of play is going to earn you a trip to the Pro Bowl, Chris. Not that you would know anything about that. Running left, and he's tackled at the 37. And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. Boy, I did not think he had it in him. You know, I kicked a field goal at uh, 73 yards. Really? 73 yards. Field goal. Yards in or four feet? It was feet. And Archuleta makes the tackle. Seattle calls time. Time's ticking away. They've got to hurry. He's dropping back. And Mealy hauls it in. And they bring him down. Seattle wants another timeout. The defense is stacking up against the run. Robinson goes in motion. Fires. And the Seahawks put three on the board. Now that was fun to watch. Drops back. Might as well eat lunch back there. Deflected, and it's incomplete. And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. I didn't think he was going to make that one, Gator. That guy was practically in another stadium. He was so far away. Over the middle. And Jackson makes the grab. And Archuleta brings him down. And the Seahawks put three on the board. That was an important field goal, Gator. Sure was, Chris. Uh, you think you could have kicked that? Oof, no way. Ha! That's what I thought. And it falls incomplete. And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. Doesn't matter if they hit him. He's got to hold on to that. Ingram in motion. Sideline. And he hauls in the home run ball. And he's out of bounds at the eight-yard line. And the Seahawks put three on the board. When you see a clutch kick like that, it is clear why they call it football. Right, Chris. A foot can make all the difference. Yep. Just five toes, a heel, and an arch. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what a foot is. Do you, Chris? And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. And the kicker comes through in the clutch. Oh, I hate leaving important moments up to the guys with only one bar on their face mask, but this guy came up big. And it's through the uprights. And the Seahawks put three on the board. That was a thing of beauty. He hauls it in. Heads up field. With the stiff arm, hauled down at the 30. You know, Chris, I think it would be cooler if the guy actually had to walk over and give the ball to the other offense. That would really rub it in. Pass, and he hauls in the deep ball. And he's not to the turn. St. Louis wants a timeout. Seattle takes another timeout. Flushed out. St. Louis takes their second timeout. back and Holt makes the reception and he leaps out of bounds to stop the clock and the Rams put three on the board he is a pro's pro Chris a man's man a player's player and Randall with the tackle St. Louis will take their final timeout looks like the defense is expecting a run Warner makes the catch, brought down at midfield. And the Rams put three on the board. When you see a clutch kick like that, it is clear why they call it football. And we're headed for overtime. Fielded. Heads up field. Juking. And they make the stop. So they fail to pick up the first, and they're going to have to turn it over on downs. You know, when I used to play in Azerbaijan, we used to have five downs. So maybe if they had a fifth down, they would have had a chance. Here's it out. He's got it. 
and he's down at the 45-yard line. And the Rams come away with a field goal. Wow, it's just like we're starting over. Pitch out, takes it around the end, and Springs makes the stop. Very impressive kick, Gator. I knew it was going to go in the whole way. Oh, me too, Chris. This guy, I watched him one time during the offseason. He missed the ball, kicked the holder through the uprights. He's got a really powerful leg. Needless to say, Chris. And it's incomplete. St. Louis puts three points on the board. Boy, I did not think he was going to make that field goal. You think, Chris, that the kicker's got one real enormous leg and one tiny leg? Oh, yeah. They walk around in circles in this game. And he stopped at the 46. Fourth down. They line up to kick this one away. He gets it away. Fielded at the 23. Heads up field. And Gordon makes the tackle. And the Seahawks put three on the board. Hope you're paying attention, kids. That's how you do it right there. Alexander gets the ball. And they bring him down. And the Seahawks come away with the field goal. Wow, that was a big kick. You got to take the points where you can get them, Chris. And those were three big points. Yep, it never hurts to have a kicker who can come through in the clutch. And he's down at the 27. Seattle tacks on the field goal. That was an important field goal, Gator. Sure was, Chris. Uh, you think you could have kicked that? Oof, no way. Ha, that's what I thought. What, you think you could? Oh, God, no. Oh, I just want to make sure you could. And he's knocked to the turf. They line up to punt. It's up. He hauls it in. Stiff arm breaks free. And he's tackled at the 30. And the Rams put three on the board. I'm not sure if that was good coverage or just a lousy return. I guess it was a little bit of both. Warner moves left. And Holt makes the catch. To the 10, the 5, and he's in for the touchdown. And the Rams lead by 6. Well, they had their sights set on the TD, and it paid off. Add 6 to the board. 6 points, Chris. It may be half a 12, but in my book, it will always be 2 more than 4 and 7 less than 13. And it's good. Wilkins gets ready to put it in play. And it's up. He gathers it in. Goal line, touchdown. What an impressive run back. It takes a special talent to run one back all the way like he just did. Now the extra point gives him the tie, but the two-pointer gives him the lead. What's it going to be? And we're tied. He takes it. Heads up field. And he's down at the 40. And the Rams come away with a field goal. Boy, I did not think he had it in him. You know, I kicked a field goal at uh, 73 yards. Really? 73 yards. Yard skater or, or feet? It was feet. Taken down at the 35-yard line. And the Rams put three on the board. Very impressive kick, Gator. I knew it was going to go in the whole way. Oh, me too, Chris. This guy, I watched him one time during the offseason. He missed the ball, kicked the holder through the uprights. He's got a really powerful leg. Needless to say, Chris. And the Rams come away with a field goal. That was an important field goal, Gator. Sure was, Chris. Uh, you think you could have kicked that? Oof, no way. And Holt hauls it in, and they bring him down. And the Rams put three on the board. Boy, I did not think he was going to make that field goal. You think, Chris, that the kicker's got one real enormous leg and one tiny leg? stop. St. Louis comes away with a field goal. That was a thing of beauty. Shotgun formation. Blitz coming. Fifth time. 
pass over the middle. Incomplete. And the Rams come away with a field goal. Second down. Down at the 27. Defense with four linebackers. Ball running right. And he's down at the 25. And the Rams put three on the board. Eight yards to go. He fades back. He's got to hurry. And Holt snares it. Brought down at the 22 yard line. And the Rams. Come away with the field goal. His agent is probably calling to renegotiate his contract as we speak. Ball, right side. And he's knocked to the turf. And the Rams put three on the board. This would give them the lead. Kick is up. And Wilkins puts it up and good. Jeff Wilkins with a big time kick. Now that is putting some foot behind it. I'll tell you what, Chris, with a leg like this, this guy could kick the proverbial cow out of the hen house. Why would a cow be in a hen house? Well, he wouldn't if this guy was around. Heads up field. Looks for an opening at the 28-yard line. Well, they don't make it, so they'll turn the ball over on downs. Well, that kind of play is going to earn you a trip to the Pro Bowl, Chris. Not that you would know anything about that. He's dropping back. And Jackson makes the grab. And Archuleta brings him down. And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. And the kicker comes through in the clutch. Oh, I hate leaving important moments up to the guys with only one bar in their face mask. But this guy came up big. And the Seahawks put three on the board. I didn't think he was going to make that one, Gator. He was in another zip code when he kicked that ball. Gets it away. And Ingram reels it in. And he's down at the 44-yard line. Seattle. Calls time. First and ten. Moves to his right. And Ingram makes the reception. And Polly makes the stop. Seattle puts three points on the board. Boy, I did not think he was going to make that field goal. Do you think, Chris, that the kicker's got one real enormous leg, one tiny leg? Oh, yeah. They walk around in circles unless you steer them right. And the Seahawks put three on the board. Robinson goes in motion. It's a blitz. Fires. And Robinson brings it down. And Archuleta with the tackle. Seattle tacks on the field goal. Now that was fun to watch. Scrambles hauled down at the 38-yard line. And the Seahawks come away with a field goal. Very impressive kick, Gator. I knew it was going to go in the whole way. Oh, me too, Chris. This guy, I watched him one time during the offseason. He missed the ball, kicked the holder through the uprights. And the Seahawks put three on the board. When you see a clutch kick like that, it is clear why they call it football. Chris, you say foot. I say thing that has the five little things on the end of it. And he's taken down at the 42. Seattle will take their final timeout. Flushed out of the pocket. Deflected. And it's incomplete. And the Seahawks put three on the board. It's always satisfying as a defensive player to watch the offense do the walk of shame. Flips it. Running left. Dukes takes him off. And they make the stop. And the Rams come away with a field goal. And the game is over. The St. Louis Rams have won the game. And that'll do it for this game. I'm Chris Morgan. And I'm Gator Jones. And I'm Cletus. And I'm Jumping Loud. Testing, testing. One, two, three. And I'm Edmund. And this is Rob Dale, the security guard. And this is Larry. Oh, Good night, everybody. everybody. Good night, everybody. Huh? Who the? Oh, who the? 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 Who the